everyone. We have had great success with our Japanese starter kits. And for those of you who are ready to graduate from the starter kit and move on to what I would call the intermediate kit, I have the specially curated selection for you. So I have my swatches off to the left and I, I think what I'll do is I'll talk about them in this order so that you have a good idea of what you're getting in this intermediate kit. So, let's start with the Sarasa Vintage in Blue-Gray. Now, you're either brand new to my channel or you've been living under a rock if you don't know about the Sarasa Blue-Gray and how much I love it. Let me zoom into the swatch real quick. So there is the Sarasa Blue-Gray color to give you an idea. You probably know me well enough by now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, to know that I'm obsessed with putting it inside my gold Sarasa Grand. So that's sort of an upgrade option for you. The weight of the pen just makes it feel even nicer when you're using it. So, so you will be getting a Sarasa Vintage in Blue-Gray in the Intermediate Kit. We have a really hard time keeping this in stock, so we have a bunch reserved for the intermediate kit. The next pen that you will be receiving is a new pen by Pilot. It just came out this fall. People are loving it. It's the Pilot Juice Up, and I think it's gorgeous in this earthy violet color. It's a little earthier than the violet that comes in the High Tech C. So I really, this is just a really nice pen. It's a little more weighted toward the bottom. It's uh, just nicer feeling than the juice. And it is an overall nicer pen. And it is archival. All right, so moving on. Sarasa and, the Sarasa clips are all archival and so are the juice ups. And the Uniball Signo DX also is archival. I'll try to remember to tell you when something is or isn't. Or sorry, I'll just tell you when I know for sure that it is. Otherwise, you just assume it's not. Okay, so the next pen I wanna talk about is, you know, you may have already been introduced to the Coletto. The Coletto is by far the most kind of ubiquitous once you start going into Japanese pens. However, I think the prefill is better, and I've talked about that at length before, so I won't get too much into it now. So if you have not tried a prefill yet, I really want you to. It's the same concept, it's a custom multi-pin, and I have picked for you my favorite way to fill the pre-fill. I've talked about this before, but real quick, it's the Sarasa Blue Black in .4, the Magenta in .4, the Pale Blue, which is gorgeous, in .4, and the Sudati, which is an emulsion ballpoint, in purple, .5. Now this 0.5 in, in the ballpoint is gonna feel like your 0.4 gel. And of course, you can further customize it any way you want. So if you, if you would you know, like to add on a black ink or something like that, feel free, but this is what you're gonna get in the kit. And I chose one of my favorite barrels that's not overly cutesy. So this is the pre-fill barrel in glass black. It is kind of sparkling but it has more of an edgy look and is less cutesy. So I would say it's, you know, nice unisex and just if your taste is not overly cutesy, then you'll be happy with this. But I believe people who like cutesy or kind of glamorous looking things would also like this. I think it's the most universally kind of liked barrel. So I, that's why I chose that one. Let me show you, just in case you're brand new to the pre-fill and don't know how to fill it, I do get emails from customers, and I always know who's done this, right? Okay, so it's Coletto people. Not that I have anything against Coletto people, but you know how the Coletto, you remove the ink from the top? So I get people, they send me pictures of their pre-fill, and they're totally mangled, the like screws inside and 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 up here it's all mangled and I can just tell you tried to pull this so what happens is they break their pre-fill and they want me to send them another one well hey let me just teach you how to use it the right way okay so 
you are not going to do anything up here okay promise me you won't do anything up here <laughs> and you're going to unscrew your barrel here so on this it's here okay and you're going to let me see can you see down in there how there's a hole you're gonna fit it in so you're gonna find the hole you want to use it depends on kind of what order you want them in and you're gonna pop it in there and you're gonna kind of feel it grab and you can kind of see that it's grabbed and then you're gonna also be able to see your color down here so a lot of people are like what they don't get it you know what why they don't do the colors up here because they're too stuck back in the Coletto okay you got to get your mind out of the Coletto and into the prefill okay everyone let's just do it with me all right okay here we go yeah sorry I just really like the prefill can you tell so then you're gonna see the colors here so you're gonna know which color to use and the same kind of thing where to get so a common question is to get this one back up how do you do that you know and so they'll like start pulling but no you just slightly move the next one and like slightly moving any of them will bring up the one that's down does that make sense okay I think we're ready to move beyond the prefill I can't say enough good things about the prefill I just also want people to use it correctly so you guys can help me become experts and then you can teach all of the people who haven't tried it how to do it properly so that they don't break it because it makes me so sad when they get their prefill and break it because they're using it like a Coletto. Okay, moving on. So I did something that I thought was really appropriate for the intermediate kit and what I did was I put another Unibuff Signo DX in because A, they're awesome. B, I think everyone needs to try this emerald color because it's gorgeous. And C, you need to try a 0.28 if you haven't already. You just need to. You need to try the finer points. And here's the thing, I, I, two things. When you're trying the finer points, I want you to use a quality paper. This right here is a quality Rhodia paper. I just want you to use a quality paper. The Japanese notebooks we sell are quality paper. Do not use recycled American paper. It's, you know, it might be ecological, but it is not going you're not going to like your pens on it okay so I, and the other thing I want to tell you is I want you to t I want you to find a form with a small space or I want you to find one of your planners where you have a small space to write and then I want you to try tiny writing with your 0.28 and then you're going to be like finally oh I get it I get why people like to go finer than 0.4 sometimes you're going to start to understand and therefore, you're going to start to move into this intermediate world. I'm going to take everyone in there to the intermediate world. I know some of you are already in there, but okay. Moving on, because I could talk way forever about all of these. You're going to be like, oh my God, you're doing another Rouge en Petite. Yes, I'm doing another Rouge en Petite because it's awesome. I'm putting Sapphire in this one which is right here, and look how gorgeous it is. Let me just zoom in again so you can see the colors again. So I'm talking more about them. Ah, look how nice they look together. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That is really nice. Okay, yeah, I put another Rouge en Petite in because it's awesome. How could I not put another one in? Plus, some of you might have been like, I don't need a starter kit. I'm not a starter, I'm intermediate. And so now you're gonna get a Rouge en Petite in your kit. All right, next, I did the Platinum Preppy. People love the Platinum Preppy. And not only that, it's a low price point fountain pen that's really nice, but that is re it's reusable. I don't like when they do those disposable fountain pens. What a waste. So these you can keep putting more cartridges in. So if you end up liking this, you can keep using it after this cartridge runs out. And you can put any color you want in there. Very nice fountain pen, good thing to include in the kit. And plus, I figured there were some of you that have not gone anywhere near a fountain pen in years, and so I want you to revisit that. And I picked the Fine, the O3 Fine, because I know that if you're intermediate, you need, you need this, okay? 
Every once in a while, you need to use a nice fountain pen in your life. Okay, moving on. I wanted to put a highlighter in and, you know, I didn't want to put some basic highlighter in there. I wanted to put something that I would consider intermediate. So this one is the gray mild liner. So already it's awesome because it's unique. It's got the great feature that Japanese highlighters, most of them have, which is a dual tip. So you can do underlining, circling, you know, not just highlighting. And sometimes, you know, one of my favorite tricks with this one is sometimes I write it down like this and then I'll actually write over it. So you don't have to use it over the top of your ink. You can use it as an underlay, if that's a right word, I have no idea. Okay, moving on. The inner gel is awesome. A lot of people haven't tried the inner gel finer than a 0.5. So I want you to go a little finer and I want you to really, you know, this is intermediate Japanese pens. So that's why I'm pushing you into this finer realm. So one of the things Japanese pen companies do really well are the fine tips. So that's why we're focusing on them in this intermediate kit. All right, I did the Acrobal has the M series, which is gorgeous. This one is the navy body. I just think it's super attractive. And again, I'm pushing, a lot of people haven't gone finer than a 0.7 in a ballpoint. I'm pushing you finer with this pen, okay? You're going 0.5. And again, next time you have to fill out some kind of form where they only give you like this much little space, you're gonna thank me that you had these finer tip pens. Okay, I did something a little wild, but you know, it is an intermediate kit, and I want you to have a Uniball Signo Angelic White. This pen is awesome. I want you to try it on black paper, or you can do like me, and you can, uh, the MT has a matte black, we sell it. I use it all over in my store. I use it when I'm making price tags, I use it for labeling products in my store. So these angelics, not just the white, but all the colors are just gorgeous on black. They're, it's 0.7. You don't have to use them for writing necessarily. A lot of people use them for art. People who are into comic drawing really like them. Good for highlights, things like that. So this pen is fabulous and I wanted to include it in the kit. Okay, the, where did it go? The Arends. So here's what I'm doing with the Arends. A lot of people haven't tried finer than a 0.5 mechanical pencil which is fine, but again, this is the intermediate Japanese kit. I realize I keep saying that over and over again, but I want you to understand what I'm doing with this kit. I'm kind of like pulling you deeper into the Japanese implement realm, okay? <laughs> so come with me and try an Arends. Now the Arends is awesome because it has a pipe feature that protects your lead. So see, you're gonna be thinking, oh, I can't use a 0.3 pencil because it's gonna break. But if you use the Arends properly, which is not to extract the lead past, you want it flush with the pipe and not past it. If you do that, your lead is not going to break. And, and what I've done in the kit is I'm giving you a 0.3 because I think, I think you shouldn't go to the 0.2 until you've, tr if, until you've gone to the 0.3. I don't think you should go straight from 0.5 to 0.2. I feel very strongly about this. <laughs> Now, if you're already if you're already a 0.3 user, so you're like heading into the advanced, the advanced, you, you want an advanced Japanese kit. Okay, don't worry, it's coming eventually. But you like that you're already headed that way. Okay, let me know. I'll make sure you get a 0.2. If you if you want to skip the 0.3 from this kit, let me know. I'm gonna get you a 0.2. Okay? But you got to tell me in the comment when you make your order. But these are going to be assorted color, and I'll probably I'll try to stick with more gender neutral colors, if that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, personally, I feel like everyone should like pink, but I also feel like there are some people that would be disappointed if they got a pink. So I, I might stay away from pink, but if you love pink, you can let me know. Just like our other kits though, I'm not gonna sit there and customize every component. If you wanna go, if you wanna do that, our whole site is that, it's a la carte. So, you know, the the few places that I've told you, you can, you can let me know about your preference, th that's all. 
don't don't try to customize every single component of the kit i'm not trying to be mean it's just not realistic for us to like keep track of our inventory that way plus i picked these things that i thought you would like and that's kind of the point of it and then the final thing is one of our most popular pens of all time it really has a cult following i i think it has more to do with the design than anything but it's a very typical it's a very typical pen in japan and one of the features of it which you do not really see in the u.s ever but you see in japan all the time in a couple different designs are this like nubbin thing that you push in to retract the ink am i say i never know if retract is retract like this yes retract yes okay moving on sorry <laughs> All right, so that is the intermediate a Japanese pen kit. I spent so much time thinking about this. I think you're gonna love it. So if you're ready to kind of be pulled deeper into the Japanese pen realm, get the intermediate kit, see if you like it. The savings is around 10%. So if you were to, we try to do this with a lot of our kits. If you were to add it all up, you know, you would be saving 10% by getting it in the kit, in the set. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.